it's finished. I finished it. Can you see where I did too many rows in between my cables? Not so bad on this side. On this side, this one, I did one too many rows. And I can see it. But isn't it lovely? Oh, I'm ever so pleased with it. I'm really pleased with my yarn. I don't know if I can get really good representation of it. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Very happy with how even the speckles are. Apart from... There's a sp there it is there. But that's okay. That's the bad side anyway, because that's where that one looks too long. A bit over. Lovely. I made the cuff a double one and nice and long so that it kind of curves over the top. So when I'm cuddling up with this, I can't feel any of the rubber of the hot water bottle. But when I fill it up, much the same as with my green one, I just have to pull the neck down so it doesn't get all soggy. It's not a big deal. Oh. That took ages, absolutely ages to do. And it shouldn't have done. Doesn't matter, I enjoyed doing it, but I just had ambitions over what I was going to accomplish on my uh, crafting time on, on holiday. Lovely. I can look at you now, I'm out of my pajamas. Still thoroughly pleased with that. Lovely, love it. I'm going to do something that I've been meaning to do ever since I finished my jumper. Well, I haven't strictly finished this one because I want to put um, embroidered flowers all around it. But this is the Back to Life Jumper by Isabel Kramer. And I thought I'd woven in all the ends, but I haven't. Let's just trap you between my knees. That's better. Yeah, look, up here. Got a little bit of stitching to do. Look at that. Oh, what's dangling there? Look at that. Oh, that's come up overnight. It's been brewing for a while, but it's properly up now. Uh, my jeans went through the tumble dryer yesterday. That was a mistake. They feel horrid. This is not a nice angle. I'm going to put you there. What am I going to do about that? Look at it. It's massive and shiny. There we go, woven in. Let's hope it looks all right on the other side. Where is it? There it is. So once that has been manipulated, hopefully that will just sink in. You won't see it. I've done it better before, but never mind. It's done. Let's put it on. I've got this much left from doing my hot water bottle cover. And it's a very unstable little ball. So I think I'm going to spend a bit of time now and turn it into a centre pull thumb wound. I don't know if that's what it is called ball so that I can use it for other things so the way I do this is I just have a dangly bit down like that and then I start to wrap it around my finger so it, my thumb so it kind of goes can you see it's sort of at an angle and then when I've got enough I twist it by a quarter turn and I go again Tutorials with Gaynor. 
does make me laugh. Quite a lot of people will say things like, can you show me how you do that? Can you film yourself doing this, that and the other? And I think, well, I could, but I can point you in a much better direction as somebody who's a professional at tutorials. Look, can you see how this is growing now into a nice... I'll show you when it's done. Or well, maybe I can show you better this way around. Not really. I need the camera here, don't I? Oh, well, I'll just chat to you. We have been going to bed relatively early for a holiday night, you know, about 10 o'clock. And this morning, it did take me a while to nod off last night, but this morning, I didn't wake up till 20 past nine. I have not slept like this in years. Not complaining. It's nice. Very nice. I'm gonna keep I can hear Bill. He needs to come up and get something to eat. He hasn't gone skiing today. Um Toby and the other two are up the mountain. They're just having some lunch with our friends. Um, and I think they're gonna come here for, for something to eat tonight, or even just for après ski. And then I'll give them a lift home because by the time they've finished here, the lobster pot will, stop, will have stopped running. So I'll just bundle them all in the car and take them up the mountain. What else can I tell you? In a second, when I've finished doing this, I'm going to put on some tutorials. There's a couple of different people that I follow on YouTube who do little advent watercolours and they show you what to do and it's a, like a 15 minute art practice. And I, and I just think, because I've, I've for a long time wanted to get better at drawing and painting. It was something that I used to really, really enjoy when I was younger. But as with so many things, as an adult, I seem to do, I want to do practical things or things where there's a use for something that I've made, like you eat it or you wear it. And you can't really do that with art things so I just want to spend some time getting back into art for art's sake. Hello Bill. Hi. You come for something to eat? No. You okay? I'm tired. You're tired. I didn't get much sleep much Why time. not? I fell asleep at like four. Why didn't you couldn't you get to sleep My on? Back was hurt, Your so. back from falling over. Yeah. Oh well it's having it I got folded on the deep snow the other day. Got folded, that sounds yeah. awful. Good and you're I'm having not, a rest day today then. And then I got an edge of the bottom of the slope. Yeah. There was an old piece at the bottom. I don't like falling over when I'm skiing. Do you know why? Because I can't get back up. I'm like a beetle on its back. Well done, I don't like to move. I have to get someone to give me a hand. You know beetles, you, you can actually touch them and they can like stick to your fingers. Yeah. You'd have to have a really big person come along and go like that on me so I could grab hold of it. I always wonder what it's like for a turk, I mean a beetle. Um, Is that a hole on your pyjama bottom? Yeah, I've got like three eggs there. How did they happen? I don't know. Did you think you did, do you think you did a big blow off and blew a hole in your pyjama bottoms? Mm. Didn't find that funny. There we go. There we go. Nice little neat ball. Neat enough for me. With a little pull at the top, which I'm just going to poke in so that you can only just see the little end. Cute. Little apple. 
How much do you reckon I've got there? About 20 One. grams? Right, I'm going to make a coffee and go and talk to my boy. So I'm going to start with this. De Winton Paper Company. Watercolour Tutorials with Harriet De Winton. And I think I'll just start with day one. And see what I think. Here we go. Should watch that first, really. I'll watch this first. I don't think it's going to be the, the best work I've ever done because I, I just packed this travel thingy, which comes with a travel doodah and some pencils and a very basic notebook which I have I did start sketching in a while ago that's my sewing room I've got anything else in here I started doing exercises from a book oh yeah I drew, drew my hand it's not very good oh and that <laughs> that's me <laughs> crikey let's just get on <laughs> let's just get on I was doing the um left side of the brain i was working my way through that book <laughs> no prints of this green by popping some brown in there painting in some little right just and it really And I'm going to slowly start to build up and bring it. Blimey. Well, I reckon she's a good teacher because I've managed it. So I look rubbish on film. It looks all right in real life. Well, I'm pretty pleased with that. Perhaps it could do with being a bit more saturated, the candles, but I was a bit scared. Let's see what day two is. And I don't think my sugar cookie one turned out as nice as hers. Well, obviously none of them turned out as nice, but um, it's not as even as good as my first one, I, I don't think. But I enjoyed doing it. That's the main thing, right? One of the problems that I've got is that I don't have a pencil sharpener and my pencils aren't as fine tipped as I could do with them being for doing the little sketches and I don't have a proper rubber. Never mind. I'm going to do one more. Maybe more than one more. Let's see. Let's see what it is this time. What's behind the door? Oh, does anybody know what this is? It's a candle well, arch. This is a Schwiboggen candle. Oh, I've got hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. So I've done these two now. The light is fading. Might just do two more and then call it a day. That's the last one I've done and I didn't do them big enough and I didn't get the curve right on that one or on any of them. But they're all right, aren't they? I've enjoyed this. I think I've sat here for about an hour and a half. It's funny, I think the first one I did is still the best one. I wonder if I could go around these, making them into like a little wreathy type thing. There we go. I've put little wreaths around them. Look, you can see I smudged that with my great big fat fist. And I smudged there and somewhere else, but it doesn't matter, does it? What a lovely way to spend an afternoon. It's pretty dark now. That's my least favourite. I think the first one is my favourite. Have you got a favourite? Well, this is novel, isn't it? 
I've come upstairs with my knitting. I've cast on for the Stockholm slip over with this. I'll show you it in better light tomorrow. Um, I've come up because they're watching a film about basketball with Adam Sandler in it. And the soundtrack is doing my head in because I'm trying to listen to nice vlogmases with the blinky plunky music and lots of lovely ladies just chatting about lovely things and there's this bloody awful music just and I can't handle it and it's not their fault it's my fault because I'm weird with noises so I've come up here, but in coming up here, it's prompted me to actually sign off properly this vlog for the first time since getting to France. And I appreciate the vlogs, they're not what they normally are when I'm in France because I haven't really been doing very much. I think having had a cold and being busy on the way out, I've just, I've retired. <laughs> um, and also, there's only the five of us in the chalet. And I keep forgetting to film properly when we meet up with friends because I'm just so absorbed and in the moment with friends, which is as it should be. However, it would be really nice to have some little mementos and keepsakes of our time together. So I need to try to remember when we catch up tomorrow. Um. Don't know what else to tell you. I think I'm going to ski tomorrow. As if this spot here doesn't kill me overnight by taking over my entire face. Yeah, I think I'll ski tomorrow and take you along for the ride with me. Right. Good night. See ya.